Hello everyone, I'm Agent Baron, and I have recently received a request to make a tutorial on how to install Divine RPG into your Minecraft folder. Now, I assume you're also going to want to know how to install Balkan's Weapon Mod, because if you're anything like me, you're not going to want to engage Dram Cruxes directly, rather you'll opt to shoot their faces off. So, without further ado, I will be doing this video in two parts. The first part will be actually downloading the mods, and then the second part, obviously, will be installing the mods. Now, if you've already downloaded the mods, or you just don't feel like listening to my voice for the first part, click the annotation and skip to the good stuff. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to search for the mods through Google. Now, their names are popular enough that you can just type them into the search engine, and it's going to be the first result that pops up. Now, here we find ourselves at the Minecraft forums to get Optifine. Now, I'm not going to go through this entire list here and tell you what's going to work best for you. You need to read through these and figure out what is the best version for your computer. I use Ultra. So that's what I will be downloading. So we get through AdFly. There we have Optifine. Next, I think I'm going to go for Balkan's Weapon Mod. So I'll just type in Weapon Mod. And BAM! First search result. Here it is on the Minecraft forums. So scrolling on down. Click on the AdFly link for Balkan's Weapon Mod. Wait for the skip ad button to take its time to show. Here we go. Bam. Got weapon mod. Next, we're going to get the Divine RPG. Type it in. Right back at Minecraft Forms. It's really that simple. Scroll on down past this very long but very pretty graphic. And we will click the top link because the mirror tube requires Chrome. If you're using Internet Explorer or Firefox, use that top link. No rating. Okay, skip the ad and download. Now we have the Divine RPG jar file. Now, lastly, we're going to need Minecraft Forge because both Falcon's Weapon Mod and Divine RPG require it. Of course, Minecraft Forge Forums. What better place to get yourself a copy? Head into the Releases Forum, and you're going to want version 6.6.0 .6 for Minecraft 1.4.7. And you're going to want the Universal version. I'll just click on this direct link so we can get through this quickly. And there you go. You have all four mods that you need for this. So, from here, you either get into your downloads folder, or you isolate them into another folder to work with. From there, we're going to be opening up... Oh, well, what do you know? It would seem that in my scatterbrainness that I have deleted all of my Minecraft files. I am disappointed. So, we're going to download some nice vanilla files. Probably the best to start off with if you're installing mods onto your, onto your game. Now, if you don't mind turning away from the screen, I don't want you reading my password as I type it. Alright, so we have ourselves a nice, fresh install of Minecraft. We're going to go into the bin folder. And you'll notice this Minecraft.jar file. Right-click it and open with WinRAR Archiver. There may be other archiving programs that work with this. I highly recommend WinRAR because I've never heard of another one that works with this. And I know that this works because I'm doing it. So anyway, we are going to open up first Minecraft Forge. Forge is pretty important. It's kind of the backbone of our setup here so we're gonna do this first highlight everything in a separate instance of WinRAR and copy it into the minecraft.jar file via drag and drop this window says a bunch of stuff doesn't matter what it says just say okay 
Smile and nod your head. Just smile and nod your head. <laughs> Just click OK. And then, the most important part, and a lot of people tend to forget to do this, delete the meta inf folder. Your game will not work with the mods if it is still there. We no longer need Minecraft Forge anymore. So, now we're going to start Minecraft for some biscuits and giggles just to make sure that it worked. I'm going to type my password one more time. I'm going to tell it to remember this time because I'm getting a little sick and tired of typing it so many times. All right, so it would appear that it worked. It appreciates Forge, and we can continue to move forward. So next, we're going to go ahead and install Optifine. On a side note, Optifine is not essential to get this to work, but Optifine does help. It gives you a tremendous frame rate boost, and I have not encountered those stutters whenever I'm recording like I was initially. So just drag and drop, same as before. Smile and nod. Smile and nod. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. With all that taken care of, we are done with Minecraft.jar, but we are not done installing the mods yet. You might be wondering, what do I do with Divine RPG and Weapon Mod? Well, that's where we go into the Mods folder, which has been created by Minecraft Forge. Now, this is the second reason why I installed that first and then ran it, was so that it would create these folders. So then I just take Weapon Mod, Divine RPG, both of them, drag and drop into the Mods folder. From there, we do one final test. All right, it would appear that Minecraft has accepted the mods, and it is working perfectly. And for the record, not on Steam. All right, that is how you install these into your game. You might also note that I'm working with 1.4.7 here. That is because I just demonstrated... Sorry about that, I had a brain fart in the middle of my sentence, and rather than starting the entire thing over again, I thought it'd just be better to skip to where I was a little more caught up with myself. You might notice that this is Minecraft version 1.4.7. You might recall, maybe, most likely not, that I've been rolling with 1.4.6. The reason is because I couldn't quite get this to work. I not only taught you how to install this into Minecraft 1.4.7, but also, this should serve as an announcement that from here forward, Fool's Errand will be operating on the most recent version of Divine RPG, which includes more hell for Friend Baron, and, uh... So, with that making sense, if you have any questions about this, any problems, let me know. I will do my best to help you. I am not a genius, but I will do what I can to help. And in a worst case scenario, I will forward you to the mod creators. They're very nice people. They're helpful. They can help you with really technical problems that I can't handle. Uh, well, I will wrap this up then. That said, I am Agent Baron. I will see you guys in Fool's Errand Episode 11.